Uh, we're in a very dangerous situation, not because the North is going to attack the United States outright, but because we have two inexperienced, bombastic leaders that could stumble into nuclear war. And it's quite dangerous, and it's the reason why the two sides need to talk to each other. Right now, we're in a game of nuclear chicken. Both sides are <coughs> threatening each other, back and forth, tit for tat, and it's just cycling upwards. It's very dangerous, and these leaders don't have experience of how to get out of this, and the danger is that the only thing they know is how to sa rattle their sabers and ratchet up the pressure, and where's it going to end? So we need to find a way to, to calm down, bring this thing back down to earth, talk to each other, and hopefully cooler heads will prevail. We've seen somewhat uh, a typical kind of back and forth uh, between North Korea, threats issued in response to crying these new sanctions. And what's unusual is that we have a U.S. president who's willing to kind of get down into the, the mud with, uh, with North Korea and threaten right back, kind of ratcheting up the rhetorical tension, but we haven't seen uh, any specific uh, imminent uh, threat, uh, at least on the ground. Is, is, is a war on the Korean Peninsula the second worst option? In other words, the worst option being a nuclear-capable, uh, uh, ICBM-capable North Korea? Or is war actually the worst option and we need to work towards a containment, kind of deterrence, strengthening deterrence, working with our allies and, and trying to contain this problem and manage it over the long term? I, I wouldn't give up on the pursuit of negotiation and dialogue and the use of pressure to try to aid that. So I think uh, the, the, the U.S. administration is, is doing the right thing in terms of pursuing sanctions, trying to apply pressure.